Hi guys, this video is going to cover control send command, which is a command that allows you to send keystrokes to a program of your choice. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Welcome back. So the command control send is different to send in the way that control send will send the keystrokes directly to an application or a control within that application. So if you just use the send command and say hi there, running this script will send the send the string where you are. So even if you wanted to send it to your notepad, for instance, you're going to have to convert this into a hotkey and then use it and use it after you put your focus on the notepad. Control send doesn't require this, so let me just get out of the script first. So if I go control send and I'm going to put in I'll bring a window spy, I'm going to put in the control with which is if I highlight notepad I'll see the focus control like this edit one and put edit one and keys programmatically sent text and you have to give a win title win title could be the title of the window so untitled notepad now if I save this and run the script you'll see that the string of text is being reproduced on the notepad without the notepad being in focus. Now, this uh, represents the control and you can also just forget about putting in the control. And if that happens, then what it's gonna do is it's going to um, send the keys to the target window, which is gonna be untitled notepad, untitled notepad here topmost control so for some applications the control send will send directly to um, where you want the the keys to be sent intuitively so I would want the keys to be sent to my edit control which is this blank white space and it does work for notepad so if I save this even if I leave the control blank if I run it I'll get the same text being reproduced All right let me show you another example let me get out of notepad and and this time i'm going to set the title match mode to to partial match because oftentimes as you saw in untitled notepad that title gets updated when i type in a value so uh star sign gets added in front and if you don't do set title match mode to two then it's going to have a hard time trying to find the window that you specified and I'm also going to use a variable to create a multi-line string line one line two line three and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send these lines to site where I'm looking at and secondly I'm gonna send it to Microsoft Word and lastly, I'm going to send it to Excel as well. Okay. So I just got to find out what control I'm going to be sending these to. So I'll do control send and I have to type in the control for say site first. And it's going to be, so my focus is right here on site and in the a white blank space where you type in the code and it says according to Windows Spy the control is this one and I'll say a string of my string and the title of the of this script is test script one auto key and that will do and control control send next one is my um, word doc 
and let's see what control it is to send the keys to my blank space in Word doc and it is this one a funny looking name and my string and this time I'm going to provide a title of the window of document 3 and that will do there is um, Microsoft uh, Word that comes afterwards after a dash but because it's the partial match it's still gonna work and control send to the last one which is Excel 71 which is the name of the control that represents this grid and my string percentage sign and what is this book one so if I save this and I'm gonna go down a few few a uh, few lines because the the string is gonna be re reproduced on my site as well. So if I save it and run it, you can see that the line has been sent to all three of the windows or programs. All right, I will show you one use case of Control Send and wrap up the tutorial. So let me clean all of this up. All right, so I have this. Uh, video loaded up on my VLC player. VLC player is a popular uh, media player for desktop users and within this VLC player exists some shortcuts for instance if I press space right now the media is paused but if I press space it will play it he says we have a duty to preserve if ourselves. If I press space again it will pause it so it's a play pause uh, toggle button um, the space key works as if I go up it will push up the volume just within uh, just within the VLC player and if I go down then it will push down the volume and also if I do left it will navigate backwards by 10 seconds right will navigate forward by 10 seconds and if I do control left it will navigate backwards by a minute control right will navigate forward by a minute and I'm going to create my own media control hotkeys for a VLC player that doesn't require VLC to be highlighted when I run the hotkey. All right, let's go ahead and create that. So for the hotkeys, I'm going to use control shift key as the base, control shift key, enter key to send the space key. And for VLC, luckily you don't need to provide the control name and just uh, sending the space key will work as though the space has been sent to a wherever area that allows acceptance of the space key to work as the play pause button and let me bring up Windows Spy. Windows Spy is um, is the program or script that comes with the installation of AutoHotKey and I'm going to use this AutoHotKey exe and so that's it for play pause and uh, let me just copy that put an up button so control shift up will send the up key to bring the volume up and down will bring the volume down and Control shift left now this is slightly different because I want to use control shift left to uh, left key once to navigate backwards by 10 seconds and press the left key twice control shift left key twice to navigate by navigate backwards by a minute so in order to do that and I have covered this extensively so I'm not necessarily going to explain this in full detail one if error level is that then I'm going to control send left control up. else is control control left okay and also going to create the right one Right, keyword right, right, and and right. Okay, and this should be it. If I save the script and run it, okay, 
and if I press control shift control shift enter to send the space key you can see that the media is now, now playing for most people if I do it again then it pauses it if I go control shift up you can see that the volume is going up while my focus is still on site so you can see if I type something out then it goes into site not um, not the VLC media player if I go control shift down it brings the volume down and then control shift left moves it by interesting let me play it who love life we have multiple reasons I see what the problem is. I forgot to put in return here to pause the script at this point. And because there was no return, it went straight down to the right key, hotkey as well. So it went backwards by 10 seconds and immediately moved forward forwards by uh, 10 seconds. So if I update that with the return command down here and run the script again, and go control shift to left this time you can see that the my media is being navigated backwards by 10 seconds each time so while i'm holding down control shift if i press left key twice quickly you can see that the media is going backwards by a minute instead of uh, just 10 seconds and it's the same thing for control shift right if i go control shift to right once 10 seconds uh, forward and if I press it twice, then it will move forward by a minute. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial.